Hi, I'm Corinne with Thompson RV in Pendleton, Oregon. I'm here today with your Outdoors RV Owners Group video. We get a lot of questions about battery maintenance, um, and so we're going to talk today about the small solar panel that comes standard on a lot of these units. It's just a small solar panel. It's basically for battery maintenance for when your unit is not being used. Um, so RV batteries really like a constant trickle charge. So if you can keep it plugged in your, at your house, that's wonderful. Um, if you have to store it somewhere else, or maybe it's at your house, but you just don't have a way to plug it in, that's when this 10 watt panel comes in handy. Um, now, obviously, if you wanna cover your unit, maybe it's winter time, you wanna cover it for a few months. Um, in that case, we recommend taking the batteries off. You don't wanna set them on concrete. You wanna have them up somewhere where they're staying warm and then put a trickle charger on them once a month. But the easy way to do it is if you do have sunlight and you can use the 10 watt panel that's on the roof, um, you just have to kill power to the coach and there is a battery kill switch. So with that solar panel, that option, comes a um, power kill switch that, that cuts the power to the unit. Because everything in the unit has a little bit of a draw, so whether it's the backlight to the CD player, the LP detector, all that kind of stuff, it won't keep up with that if you just leave the batteries on but you turn on the 10 watt panel. It's just not a big enough panel. So um, you come right over here and you wanna make sure that the solar panel is switched to on. Now we don't recommend that you keep the panel on all the time. It's a small panel. They didn't put any kind of a charge regulator or anything on it. So we usually just leave it off. It's not a lot of use um, in, in the on position if you're actually using the unit. Now at some point, if you want to boondock more and maybe you want to add more batteries to your trailer, but you want to be able to stay out a little longer, that's when you're going to want to add a bigger panel that's going to keep up with you and your furnace and that kind of thing. The other thing is let's say you decide you're going to keep it stored at your house and you need to um, turn off the, the power to the coach. Just remember that that will kill the power to your furnace. So if it's below freezing and you need to be running your furnace, that's not a good time to use the battery kill switch, as well as if there's food in your fridge. You don't want to kill the power to your coach and think that your fridge is still running because it's not. So it's going to kill all the power to the coach. So it's storage time. You turn the solar panel to on. Then you're going to come out to the compartment. And most of them should be in the same location. Some of them are red, some are black. It kind of depends on the year you have. And you're gonna switch this from on to off. And once you do that, that's gonna kill the power to the coach. And then that way, that little 10 watt panel is just trickle charging those batteries for maintenance. 